Guten Tag, my friends, this is Dan the Great. Welcome to a brand new Let's Try video of a pretty new and unique MMO that a lot of people are playing out there called World of Tanks. And like the title says, um, you are in a tank and you participate in battles against other people around the world. And basically you have your own tank. It's not like you can command multiple tanks in the same battle. So you have your own tank and... Uh, you can customize it and stuff, you can add upgrades and stuff like that, and um, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, you can also, here, here is the garage, where basically you have your tank, and um, here you can give them, uh, give the tank upgrades with research points here, I'm not sure what they're called, maybe experience. But, uh, for example, for this tank, I have 315 experience, and you get that by playing battles. So once you start the game, once you like when you're brand new, you have zero, so you have to play battles right with the start crappy tanks. But uh, even when you play battles, and even if you don't kill anything, even if you don't destroy anything, you still get uh, something called credits, which is like money. So basically, first you need to research something with research points, and then uh, you can use the money to upgrade the thing here that you researched with. For example, here's the gun, this is the turret, this is the engine, and so on. Uh, uh, at the beginning of the game, you start with three tanks. So a Russian tank, a German tank, and an American tank that already sold. That's why it's not here. And you have five slots where you can purchase an additional slot for real-life money. Uh, with gold, something that you can buy, obviously, uh, with real money. And you can also use gold to buy something called premium for... Uh, a certain amount of time, and it gives you more 50% more credits and XP per battle. So, I mean, for those people that want to pay and who like this game a lot, I guess, then yeah, it's good for them. But I'm not gonna pay for an MMO. Maybe, uh, I mean, the $5 RuneScape mark is still <laughs> pretty high for me. I mean, uh, it'd be cool if MMOs were like you could uh, just pay like 50 bucks and then just play it forever. But unfortunately, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. That's why I'm sticking to, like, Battlefield games and COD and, obviously, Total War games. But anyway, it's besides the point. Um, so, yeah, I've showed you the upgrading and the gold and whatnot. And here are the crew members. So this tank, right, uh, has three crew members, which you can... Here's the experience, I'm pretty sure. And you can basically recruit... Uh, for example, I want to recruit a new commander. Uh, you can recruit him. And his training level is going to be 50%, which is basically free, I'm pretty sure. 75% uh, is 20 grand, so that's like a lot. And 100% costs uh, real money. So uh, that's for like pros and hardcore people that love this game. But um, this is the German tank. Uh, it's the one that you start with, but I already put in some upgrades like a new turret and uh, a new gun and stuff like that. Here is uh, level 2, level 2, level 2. Um... Here is the Russian tank. I also put in a new turret, new gun. So I upgraded everything. Uh, this I need to research. Let's see if I can research that. Uh, oh, there it is. Yes, please, research. MS-1 acquired elite status. So once you research everything in, on a tank, it acquires elite sat status. So uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um... Now, after each battle, even if your tank gets destroyed, obviously you don't need to build a new tank from the ground up. You have the same tank, except that all you need to do is click on this like service button here, and you can repair the tank and uh, refill the ammunition. So the ammunition is obviously specific to the kind of gun that you're using on the tank. So here it's asking me that uh, it's asking me 1.1 grand to. Um, to buy 587 rounds of armor piercing BC 20, 20 millimeter. So let's go ahead and do that. Accept. Yes, please. And there you go. Done. So this one's elite. Let's see if we can upgrade anything on this tank. Because I want to make this tank elite too. Um, uh, wait a second. We have upgraded this, we have upgraded that. I don't know, what else is there to upgrade? Not too sure. Here there are extra slots for uh, toolboxes, uh, binocular telescope. Obviously these are really expensive, 500 grand of credits, which like you need to play like for days to get that, at least on light tanks. I'm not sure how it is on medium tanks. Um, but uh, yeah, here let me show you how expensive medium tanks are. Uh, you see light tanks, they're not that bad, they're 13.5 grand, 22 grand, I mean, not that bad, still kind of a lot, 
But medium tanks, look at this. 1 million point three for a T-43. Uh, it's a lot. 256 grand, still a lot. 189 grand, yeah, no way. I'm not, you know, it's, I'm gonna have to play like for two months straight to get that. Maybe a month straight or something, I'm not sure, but... Anyway, enough uh, rambling. Let's begin. We'll go ahead and use this new elite tank, and we'll just go ahead and click on battle. By the way, you can select standard battle, create platoon, which is basically you invite your friends, uh, team training, which is like people starting servers, and you can just, I guess, train with them, and tank companies, which is gather your own team and fight against peer teams. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and choose standard battle, and here it's finding a battle for us. Here's the elapsed time, but... Um, when it's gonna find us a battle. Oh, already we found us a battle. Awesome. Okay, well that was quick. Usually it takes a lot longer. Really quick. So, awaiting players. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take 30 seconds. But anyway, once once we're gonna start playing, I'm gonna resume the uh, video. So, just uh, stay tuned. Alright, well anyway, we got 10 seconds left for the battle to start. Uh, on the bottom left there, if you look at your screen, there's the tank, which is obviously, you know, shows the tank. Bottom right is the radar, uh, someone's showing uh, uh, sectors that we need to go to. And top left, top right are the teams. So standard controls, pressing WASD to move the tank. Uh, you can press shift to uh, kind of like zoom into the tank. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. I'm just going to follow all my teammates here. See where we're going. On the bottom there, you can see how many uh, bullets you have. Apparently I have 920 bullets. A lot. This is fire one uh, shot. Right, so I have a like a small cannon here. Whoa, some guy crashed into me. Not cool, buddy. He's bullying the little tanks. You can also uh, go into cruise control mode, which is press R three times. Stop crashing into me. What is your problem? Asshole. I feel like shooting him, but... It's not nice, is it? Um, yeah. Radar's pretty small, but I guess that's just my resolution of 1680 by 1050. <laughs> uh, somebody destroyed someone, if you look on the bottom left... Or, bottom right, sorry. But, uh, yeah. There isn't really, like, an inside tank view, only this. But, uh, I guess for... For a free, like, game, it's it's fine. The graphics are pretty good too. So there's a red indicator indicator there. That means there, there's a tank. He's probably behind that mountain there, or cliff there. So I'm just gonna wait. That's their enemy base over there. If you go, uh, if you see the flag in the distance, whoa! Somebody just got killed here. There he is. Let's zoom in on him. Alright, there you go. Go. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, well, he's dead. Somebody killed him. Now, this game does have a pretty steep learning curve. Or not that steep, but, uh, I mean, if you're already, like, a Men of War player or something, it's not really steep for you because you know all the tanks, but other than that, I mean, you'll need some getting used to. I'm just going to cross the little stream here. A lot of people steal your kills in this game, which I don't like. Like, you get a tank down to, like, 10% health, and the guy just shoots it. And he waits for you to... Oh, there's a tank. But yeah, you get what I mean. It's annoying. Because I'm pretty sure you get less credits for that. I don't think there are, like, assists or anything. It's just there's a tank behind that rock there. Come on, boom. Alright, it's a Panzer, Panzer 35, something like that. Panzer 1, I guess. Model 1935. He's moving up behind the rock. Oh, on the top, their friendly base capture is capturing our base. But, uh, we're too far from it, so I'm not going to bother. There he is. Let's shoot him up. He's trying to retreat, but... What, is our gun not piercing his uh, armor? Alright, well, he was destroyed. There's a tank behind that cliff, too. Let's see if we can get him. 
Just gotta wait for the circle to... Oh, he shot us. Boom. Pretty inaccurate, pretty inaccurate, but... So on the bottom left, you see my hit points going down. So my health. I'm trying to, like, really, like, maneuver here. <laughs> I'm about to die. So, I'm pretty sure this game pairs you up with uh, people of around the same tank level as you. Because they're not going to pair you up with, like, a huge tank. Like, with a heavy tank and a light tank guy. So, obviously, there's, like, a matchmaking system here. But anyway, we got uh, defeat. But, not to worry. I'm still going to get a, uh, credits for it, and everybody else is, too. Depending on what I did. Here, I'm going to get 600, 676 credits. And uh, 54 experience. So, let's press escape to return to the garage here. And there is our vehicle. Let's uh, go ahead and choose the German vehicle and try to find a battle here. But uh, yeah, I'll go uh, ahead and resume the video once we found a battle. Alrighty, we found a battle. Battle is going to start in seven seconds. Here are all the tanks that we got here. Obviously, all most of them are light tanks, so pretty smart matchmaking system. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that show on the road. Yeah, going it's cruise control mode so as you can see you can actually camp with a tank I I mean you'd think it's not possible but it is see that guy's camping and he's just sticking out his turret or his gun out of the hole uh, usually uh, smart people don't go through this field because you're just gonna get owned so they go through the sides so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my tank on the other side some people are arguing in the chat on the left Cruising, cruising, cruising through the Soviet Union. Is this the Soviet Union? I'm not sure, but I'm, I'd imagine it is. Oh, stop. Okay, let's go ahead and camp. Get into this little hole. Shift into this mode. Some tank got blown up there. Oh, someone's shooting at us. Oh, there's a tank right there. Where is it? Where is it? Oops. Let's try to shoot at us. Uh, it'd be a good idea to get out of here. Get out of here. Good idea. See, that's an American can American tank, so uh, you can have like a bunch of Russian tanks, a bunch of American tanks, and a bunch of uh, German tanks on the same team. It doesn't really matter. It's not like country based or anything. Okay, so the tank is right there. I don't know if I could hit it from here. Oh, it's dead already. Oh, there's another tank moving in over there. I'm probably not going to hit it. Critical hit. Oh, critical hit, apparently. Oh, yeah, we are penetrating it. Come on, let's kill that. Oh, wow, somebody stole our kill. Well, what did I tell you? <laughs> there's my ping on the top left, so... It paired me up with someone close to me. So I have a decent ping, 80. Pretty good. All right. Looking for tanks on the horizon. There's a score on the top. 3-0. So that means, uh, obviously, three tanks we destroyed and they destroyed none. One of them, of course, with my help, but bastard stole my kill. Someone's saying attention to sector G... Oh, wait, there's a something there. But yeah, there's a radio system too. I don't know how to use it though. It's kind of like a team-based, uh, something you see in Call of Duty. Uh, like, cover me or follow me, something like that. So, or like attention and to this sector. I, I don't know how to use it though. There's a blown up tank there by Quacky BT2. Oh, there's a tank right there. Oh no, it's below the... Uh, I can't shoot from here. See? Can't shoot it. We can try our Oh, there's a tank right up there. Let's try to sh kill it. I don't think we'll make it. Yeah, it's still 100%. Something's shooting us. No? No? Yeah, something over there is shooting us. There it is. It's a... Uh oh, man. We're gonna have to retreat got two tanks, or I imagine, no, I see three tanks, crap, 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 yeah, so we completely got destroyed, 
I would have got one kill though, but the guy stole my kill. Here you can swap through uh, your teammates' tanks and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well obviously not much going on anymore, so I guess we'll just exit the battle here. You can press escape and exit battle. You won't get any penalty, it's just that you won't be able to use that tank until that battle is done. So as you can see here, tank and battle, so I'm just going to have to wait. And I'll get all the credits from that battle uh, once it's done. But here, let's scroll through the menus here. Here's the depot, sorry. Um, modules, shells, so all this stuff. Really customizable menus, or customizable uh, tanks, friendly interface. No tutorial though, that's what I didn't like, so I had to learn from YouTube videos and stuff. Here are these statistics. Uh, we had 22 battles and won 3. <laughs> I think, yeah, and 19 defeats. But, uh, oh, what, are the, what is that? Is that like an award or something? Maybe. Tech tree. Here are the different tanks that you can have. So the best tank, for example, heavy, the best heavy tank in the uh, in Germany on the German side is the E100, which is a big tank. Uh, USSR, it's uh, e IS-7. So obviously advanced. I mean, they they've only seen uh, the start of the the beginning of the IS-3 during the end of the, uh, World War Two. Don't even talk about the IS-7. USA crap tanks during World War Two, but. Um, good thing that they're offering better tanks like uh, this T95, which is huge, and uh, T30, T92, and other stuff. Here's the barracks. Here are all your guys. You can recruit more uh, crew members and stuff. But that's pretty much it. Uh, unless you pay. Oh, what happened? There you go. Unless you pay uh, real money. Uh, you'll have to play this game for a long, long, long time to, for example, get a medium tank or even a light tank and uh, upgrade it to its uh, maximum capabilities. So uh, that's what I don't like about MMOs. I mean, the, the people that pay cash actually get so much more benefits. I mean, yeah, it's kind of obvious, but you know what I mean? I think you uh, sympathize with me. But uh, it's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, overall this game is, uh, I'd say good, not great, it's good, it doesn't have a lot of maps, it uh, only has, well I've only played three maps, so I'm pretty sure it only has three maps, um, uh, I, ha I don't think it reached 1.0 yet, it's like, I think the version's like 0 0.6, so, uh, maybe once it reaches 1.0, correct me if I'm wrong, but, anyway, I think you've seen enough, you're my two guys. Experience went up 52%. Wow. Well. Um, but yeah, I think you've seen a, you've seen enough. Uh, if you want to see more of World of Tanks, maybe some battles or something, just go ahead and leave a comment. And uh, if you liked it, like it. I got a lot of other Let's Try videos, like for games such as Wings of Prey, uh, Flight Simulator X. Um, what uh, what uh, what is it? Um, Duke Nukem. Right, that game. <laughs> that was a pretty fun game. But yeah, if you'd like to just visit my channel and subscribe and you'll uh, get all the new let's tries and other videos directly on your uh, YouTube homepage but anyway thanks for watching this was Dan the Great signing off peace